This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest, and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's any. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Alright. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... What is it for? Jasko is right that it's not natural. Shortly after, they feel like they're being followed. Walking towards us right now. Um, I don't know if it's that same person, but let's get out of here. While I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. Described by Redditor Yeezus underscore C as footage of something. I'm going to play you this video so you can see what that something is. Pulled from security footage, an office chair is captured spinning on its own, and toward the end of the clip, it makes a final turn. <laughs> Those in the comments have several theories. Well, I think it could be any one of these theories. I wouldn't rule out a passed away office worker with an axe to grind. I can picture a horror movie about it already. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Sallow Mac and originally published to YouTube by Bike Jin in March of 2020. This paranormal investigator may have just crossed paths with something very nefarious. While exploring an abandoned house, the investigator spies this creepy witchy woman in the hallway. Flames suddenly spark, running down the length of the hallway and flying up into the air in the adjacent room. It then falls in a giant blaze to the floor, burning in a ball on the carpet. For a time, the investigator watches the flames burn. It burns low, but then it bursts again. While the door behind it swings closed and then opens repeatedly. Is this a jinn's doing? Or maybe a witch's? Either way, get the heck out of there. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curen, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. Over on the r slash ghosts subreddit, a user named Cam Sunkist shares a video of a home surveillance recording on his front porch while a pizza delivery driver drops off the order at the house. Seems fairly normal right now. But this simple pizza delivery turns into something much more terrifying in just a matter of seconds. Very clearly, you can just hear somebody's voice. It's almost like a whisper, and it, it doesn't seem to catch the pizza delivery man's attention. It's, it's just very bizarre and out of place here. I'll just play it one more time. Just listen very, very closely. Don't 
amazingly. It doesn't even seem as if the pizza delivery driver even hears anything. So maybe this bizarre sounding voice was only audible once listening to the recording and not in person. That would definitely explain why the driver has no reaction whatsoever as soon as the voice starts speaking. But I would like to imagine that if he did hear it, he would be a little bit freaked out and would probably quickly drop the order off and leave immediately. One commenter says it sounds like perhaps Spanish and he thinks the voice could be saying, do you listen to me? Of course, this is just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt, but either way, this is one voice you certainly wouldn't want to hear on your security camera. If you have a sibling, then they've likely played practical jokes on you before, but what happens when the impractical is not a joke? In this video, something is seen floating on the other side of the room. As the boys grow increasingly panicked, a toy car is thrown at the younger brother, while another toy car comes flying towards the older brother, seemingly of its own accord. The video cuts out and then resumes, as the brothers are arguing with each other in Malé, perhaps blaming each other for the paranormal activity. The younger brother is being yelled at, and he screams back in anger before leaving the room. The older brother looks concerned, and when they go check on him, they find a figure standing on the toilet hanging upside down. Wait, After shouting out, one of the older brothers rushes back into the dining room, and it seems the paranormal is not over yet. A chair shoves out from under the table on its own. He grabs his phone, while the other brother attempts to restrain the child. That's where the video ends. While many in the comments are doubtful of this video's authenticity, some are all in saying this is real. Facebook user Mohamed Zaraf Amin is one of the latter writing, All of you who comment says this is all an act. Just be careful if he wants to disturb you. We have to believe this smooth creature exists. I guess if we don't believe, we are more vulnerable. We all know dogs can see ghosts, and often they're trying to protect us humans from them. Redditor Specter Specs Dog did that just one morning. Here's the pup in action. The Redditor notes that the dog kept moving back and forth like he was watching something across the room. The Redditor explains in the comments that they lived here for about a year at this point, and the dog hadn't behaved this way either before or after. They also never had a rodent or bug infestation while there. While I can't say this footage should be taken as foolproof evidence that a ghost is adrift, I tend to believe that animals sense things that we don't, so I'd definitely be suspicious after witnessing this. This creepy moment caught on a doorbell cam from Knoxville, Tennessee, shows a shadowy creature dart across Brian Hobbs' suburban yard and then mysteriously disappear. Bizarre, right? Okay, so maybe seeing this mysterious creature sighting one time can be explained away as a camera glitch, but when the moving shadows returns and materializes into a wild animal running the opposite way, you know this scary moment could be paranormal. This scary video goes to show that real ghost sightings caught on doorbell cam aren't limited to humans. A scary and mysterious possible ghost sighting is caught on camera by a YouTuber in India named Moonbiker Nikhil. This creepy incident was caught on tape while passing through RA Colony, which he says has a pretty scandalous reputation to the point where everyone knows not to be walking by themselves at night near there. That's why he was surprised when this happened late at night. A mysterious figure on the road seems to clip through his mirror. 
Watch closely and you'll see that they should have made contact in his opinion. And I agree that it's awfully close. Tell me what you see. And more importantly, if this alleged ghost really has a missing head. Millions of people all around the world wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack. And that's exactly what happened in this YouTube video published by Paranormal Nightmares. The uploader says her husband went downstairs in the middle of the night to pour himself a bowl of cereal. So far so good. But this seemingly ordinary trip to the kitchen at night quickly turns horrifying. Okay, so we start here. He just grabs, you know, cereal out of the cupboard and a bowl. And right there, I'm sure you saw it. The cereal box just moves completely on its own. And what I like about this video in terms of authenticity is that the cereal box is coming straight from the cupboard. There's no possibility that it could be a string causing this. And right there it goes. And he's clearly perplexed by this, a little almost nervous. And right there, the cereal box goes again. Some commenters on this video have questioned why there's seemingly a security camera set up inside the kitchen of all places, but the uploader has not responded to this. Perhaps they have them set up in various places in case of things like this happening. Of course, this could also have been done with the use of a very small string. But as far as I can see, it doesn't look like anything is attached to the cereal box. Plus, the way the husband reacts to this box moving seems very genuine. His facial expressions seem quite confused and a little creeped out, especially towards the end of the clip. Who wouldn't be freaked out if they saw their cereal box moving by itself? A YouTuber named Alyssa Cross is driving down a local road somewhere in the south when she comes across a person who she has never seen before acting quite strangely by the side of the road. You can hear the nervousness in Alyssa's voice as she and her friend agree that it looks like this person could have some sort of strange virus, zombie or not. One can only wonder how many other viral outbreaks began in this exact same casual style of conversation. It appears that if that's not the case, then this person is under the influence of something strong. Alyssa quietly drives past and leaves the stranger behind. What happens when a child opens his mom's Camaro car door in a Target parking lot and it accidentally dings a guy's car. Well, things escalated quickly and that's what happens. At least if you run into this unfortunate lady. You said he hit the car, didn't you? You said he hit the car, didn't you? I did. You did. Yeah. You did. So get on the phone and tell him that you said that he hit the car. Jay Rios published this video in September of 2016 writing, her son accidentally dings my car. No big deal. But after I inform her of what had happened and requested insurance info, she proceeds to deny what happened and resorts to verbally attacking my wife and I in front of her two kids and my boy. And that appears to be exactly what's happening in this video. The woman is seen storming all over the parking lot. As the man's wife is on the phone to the police, she's screaming in the background, they're lying. Amidst her rant, she asks her son to show her where he hit the car. And after she wanders off, her son does admit the door landed right here while pointing out the dent on the man's car door. Jay Rios also updated the video descriptor to answer some questions for the audience. He tells us that despite the drama filled six minutes of this video, the scene ended very anticlimactically. The cops arrived and gave him information on how to file a claim if need be at the auto body shop, but they didn't care about the video even though he had a witness who confirmed that the crazy woman had struck him. He says he can't blame them, because the woman was still going off when they were there, and even resorted to telling the police off. After taking his vehicle to the shop a couple days later, the shop verified that the dent could be fixed with paintless dent repair for less than $100, a cost so low that he wasn't going to file a claim, especially since the woman's son told her the truth and she just didn't want to hear it. Eeny meeny miny mo, you don't want this cryptic hand catching you by the toe. 
published in October of 2019 by YouTuber Paranormal News. This video has taken Spanish social networks by storm. The clip at first appears sweet. A toddler is hiding on a shelf inside a burrow as her father coaxes her out of there. Watch as a Tales from the Crypt nightmare hand extends out, perhaps luring her further into the darkness. Did a chill just run down your spine? Someone get that baby out of there. This is insanely scary. At a once bustling market turned ghost town in China, this lone figure was captured on camera. Published by Paranormal Planet in February of 2020, the video shows a mysterious fog shadow moving into view. As Chinese lanterns hang all around, swaying with the wind, the figure moves across the walkway before it disappears from sight. The uploader writes, This footage was spotted by the person responsible for monitoring the street cameras. Is this a ghost? Or has the Grim Reaper come for us all? Bedjewel TV claims to have recently made contact with the supernatural world during a live stream taken at a haunted graveyard in Indonesia. He lights some incense and then weird things are caught on camera with absolutely no wind blowing. Forty seconds later is when it happens. Paranormal contact. Yeah, ini dia. Hello. Hello. Dia diem aja. Mbak. I would say this has to be special effects, except for one thing. These scary moments were caught on live stream with a live chat that was amazed at the ghost sighting. Even with that said, I still think this video could have been pre-recorded because he never seems to directly address what the chat has to say, nor does he call anybody by their screen name, all of which indicates this video might not be live. The ghost doesn't say anything to him. At 15 minutes and 58 seconds, it reaches out to him shortly before disappearing back to wherever it came from. This could simply be a digital image of somebody superimposed over the video, but I'll wait to see what you have to say before making my final decision on this one. Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz has a haunted basement which I analyzed a while ago. Now the ghost has moved upstairs and other family members are starting to take notice. Some people claim to see a face peering between the blinds, but I think it's a reflection. See what? It move? But forget about the window. Tell me what's going on with her backpack. It looks normal at 7 minutes and 3 seconds. Then she looks up, coughs, and suddenly it looks like a face. A face that only becomes clearer and rounder, more defined over the next 15 seconds. I had that on video, Nee! I got it on video! A final rustling noise somewhere in the room freaks them both out and makes me wonder if they really are being watched by a little ghost girl who's all too near. A YouTuber named Shannon Griffin recorded this short scene as part of an amateur film he was working on. One of his friends, Rachel, goes into the alley and the scene ends. It seems simple enough, but look at the bottom left for a weird surprise. The swaying shadow is not supposed to be part of the shot. Later, when Shannon was editing the footage, he was terrified by the strange discovery because nobody was standing off camera there. It's not a tree in the wind because these plants in the foreground don't move at all, while this shadow figure sways wildly. The only explanation I have, assuming that they are telling the truth to begin with, is maybe some nosy neighbor was watching them from a window and casts their shadow on the sidewalk below, but the way the shadow moves is so odd that I don't think this is it at all, so maybe it was paranormal. 
while investigating the Englefield Green Social Hall. YouTube team Southern Ghost Society captures some clear poltergeist activity. Listen closely for the EVP. I'm not sure what that sound was, but another camera manages to capture it from a different angle. It sounds to me like a door creaks and then something bangs loudly nearby. We can't see anything in the darkness, so I'd be curious to find out if anything was moved once the lights were turned back on. Regardless, this does seem to me to be paranormal. A team of ghost investigators patrol through a dark farmhouse at 3 a.m. and set up their equipment. Suddenly, their thoughts are interrupted by an overwhelmingly powerful force. An adjacent door flies open soon as they shine their flashlight up into the attic. The team feels like they are being watched from something outside. They're talking about what to do next when they witness another display of brute force. We get to experience an EVP session in the creepy abandoned house. Something smashes the window out and they see what appears to be a white apparition slowly walking away. The object has no distinct shape and somehow seems to be both near and far at the same time. What the f is that? <gasps> Holy sh there's somebody out there! All of them scramble to the car and take one last look as they leave. It's really hard to see, but zoom in on the window and you'll see a head move away on the left side. Let me know if you see what I mean or not. A YouTuber named Elton Menea Severo is recording a webcam video. When a phone call interrupts him, it looks like he might sense that something is nearby when he is talking, but he is too distracted by the conversation to give it much more than a moment's thought. As soon as he hangs up the phone, a white moon-shaped face peeks in from around the corner. It surveys the room for a bit before ducking down and leaping out of sight when Elton turns around, at which point you can momentarily see some kind of weird body with short arms and legs. There is a chance that all of this could be edited, but before you immediately think this is fake, keep in mind that it was recorded in 2006, so pretty much all webcam videos looked grainy like this. If anything, this was a pretty high quality video for its time, especially considering YouTube was less than two years old when it was uploaded, so who knows what it could have been. Ali H claims to have bought this mystery box for $1,000. The bottom of the box is covered with paper towels so he can't see what's underneath. He absentmindedly reaches straight into the box without a second thought, a decision he soon regrets. But something literally just what the f pricked me. <laughs> Guys, I think I just screwed up. Ali H is pricked by a strange needle that's tangled in tufts of foreign hair. The rest of the items appear to be weird chemicals that Ali H can't identify. By the end of the video, his finger is throbbing and he knows he needs medical attention quick. I'm, going, I'm literally going to the hospital with this whole package and I'm gonna just tell them what happened. Then I'm just gonna be straight up with them. But look at this. I didn't see any actual liquids inside of the syringe, which is good, but I guess there could still be some sort of contagion on the tip of the needle itself. I was thinking he should have washed his hands immediately, but be sure to let me know if there are some extra steps Ali H could have taken to save his health. Ali H made this video in August of 2018, and at the moment, no update has been provided. A famous Malaysian YouTuber caught some supremely scary moments on livestream that have left him and all of his followers really freaking out. It's just another normal night at his house, spending time with roommates. When they get an idea to see who is the bravest, they've been suspecting their house was haunted for a long time and dare each other to go room to room with the lights off. The first two rooms are fine, but just when it looks like this was all for nothing, some scary things are caught on camera. Standing in the corner of the room is a silent spirit that Malaysian culture refers to as 
A pokong, a sighting of one of these spirits, can be seen as a cry for help. They need to have someone undo their shroud so within 40 days, they can be freed from this world. With that in mind, I really don't blame him from running away instead of running forward. I don't think I would have the courage to undo its binds and withstand the rotten figure beneath. Seeing one in their own home must have been terrifying. An abandoned mansion in Houston, Texas appears as the epicenter of paranormal activity in this clip, posted to YouTube by Hugo Blog in August of 2016. The shell of a mansion looks creepy enough on the outside, but then they enter. Wandering around the house in the darkness, at some point, the group captures on video what appears to be a ghostly young girl. They apparently didn't see her in real time. As they don't race from the house or cry out in fear, this image was only discovered after playing back the footage. Would you have the guts to enter here? Cross the threshold and find out. That's the sound of a door sensor. The only problem is this person in Singapore is the one remaining late night worker left in the office. He's too busy looking in the wrong direction to notice the door open, and an invisible force enters the room with him, no doubt paranormal from the looks of it. Just when he settles back down and gets into the work groove, another loud scary noise has him on edge again. This time coming from within the manager's empty office, where the lights also turn on at the same time. I probably would have been gone by now, but he cautiously walks over to turn off the lights and check everything out. Big mistake. If this is real, then a ghost is caught on camera slamming the door while a chair moves by itself. If this is fake, then I guess someone could have been under the desk to push the chair out. However, unless that door has a string around the knob, then I have no idea how they were able to make it close. What do you think? A real paranormal moment on CCTV video, or simply a fake ghost sighting? I'm siding with the paranormal on this one. A Nepali YouTube channel named. Anish Gurung TV are not full-time ghost investigators, but they do have some paranormal investigation videos in abandoned places that get pretty creepy. An apparition seems to follow them on one of their urban explorations. This is when they first hear it. I want to say that this is the wind, but it's a calm night and this sounds way too much like a haunting moan. They reach the top and look around, feeling the presence of a ghost near them at all times. There's nowhere else left to explore so they go back to the bottom and are about to leave when they hear it again twice. Wait. Wait, wait. 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 But I've saved the best paranormal evidence for last. At 4 minutes and 20 seconds, they capture these eyes and a sigh from behind. They didn't hear or see it at the time, but like I said in the beginning, they're not professional ghost investigators and missed some of the scariest things caught on camera. When police officers stopped to assist a car that had broken down on the side of Southeast Loop 820 in Forest Hill, Texas, they probably weren't thinking this was a super risky call, but they'd be wrong, as the three police officers and two motorists awaited a tow truck, lights flashing, a vehicle sped at top speed towards them, completely out of control, and they nearly didn't notice until it was too late. You can see in the video that the group is oblivious to what is about to happen until one officer spots the vehicle flying in their direction, just in time to throw the group out of harm's way. The car sideswiped one police car, slammed head on into another, and barely avoided the broken down vehicle and all the people milling around on the shoulder. After plowing through, the rogue vehicle ricocheted back into traffic, but then returned to the roadside, where it screeched to a halt. When the car stopped, 
Police hurried to remove the driver. Unsurprisingly, 26-year-old motorist Cedric Keith Henson Jr. had been drinking and was detained at the scene. Although no one was hurt, they very well could have been. This crab fisherman caught more than he bargained for. Published by Casey Spotlight, believe it or not, this is a real thing that's swimming in the waters of our oceans. Known as a wolf eel, this super creepy species dwells in the North Pacific. With a tail that stretches some eight feet, wolf eels often wrap themselves up into caves, launching out with their wolfish heads to snatch prey, usually shellfish, urchins, and crabs. With crabs crawling in the cage alongside him, this particular wolf eel appears to be mid-meal as there's something large in its mouth. The fishermen pull the object out of the eel's mouth. What do you think of this creepy creature? My advice? Steer clear of taking an icy dip in the North Atlantic. Steer clear of this swampland. It is home to prehistoric reptiles. Published by MD Star Beast in May of 2022, the YouTuber is wondering what this creature is. Surrounded by lily pads, a snake-like head protrudes from the swampland. It's very still but seems to be rising up out of the water. Is it an eel of some kind? Some obscure reptile? A water dragon? What is your theory? The adventurer Abdullah Al Anbari is back, this time exploring an underground tank that's said to be the place of many experimental rituals. Something happens to his camera at 10 minutes and 10 seconds, immediately followed by this noise. And as the same thing happens again exactly 13 seconds later, which I think indicates a paranormal presence is near. But the strongest evidence occurs when they recite this opening passage and get a terrifying response. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from the spirit's reaction, it sounds like the prayer recital causes its, its monumental agony. A reality show that can take a dark turn, Whale Wars follows the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society as they confront whaling fleets over environmental issues. The society has often faced off with a Japanese whaling fleet, year in and year out. By season 3, in the episode titled Sliced in Two, the two parties decide enough is enough, it's time to have it out. Up until this point, the battle has been confrontational, but not terrifying. The Sea Shepherd's arms of choice, paint, spud shooters, and noise disruptors. The Whalers, strong and effective water cannons. This time, however, the Whalers go all in, heading straight into the Shepherd's small ship. The Addy Gill is then, as the episode is so aptly titled, sliced in two. The ship lies in shatters on the open sea. The crew can't contact anyone via radio. It's one of the scariest moments in reality TV history. Even worse, the whalers start to lower an inflatable boat into the sea, likely to capture the crew and take them on board. The open sea is scary enough. Imagine being surrounded out there on the waters by your worst enemy. Luckily, the Shepherds are able to save their crew in time. Everyone survives, and no one is captured. A happy ending to another scary event caught live. Three bankers have a conversation during a slow day when the silhouette of a child darts across the empty lobby. Watch this part and try to translate what is said immediately after. <laughs> The lobby area gets plenty of sunlight, and yet the figure looks completely covered by shade. Not a single detail is visible as it runs by, which makes this CGI or a shadow person. And when they go over to where it just was, nothing is there at all. You never hear the door open or any footsteps. It's simply gone. <laughs> <laughs> 
In this video, two planes appear to be carelessly flying way too close to each other for almost a full minute and I don't know why. I can't believe this would be planned, but at the same time I can't believe none of the passengers on a commercial airliner are screaming if this is happening. I've never flown a plane before, but I know that you're way too close when you can see what color shirt the pilot of the other plane is wearing. Someone tell me what's going on here, because it looks like total chaos in my opinion, but also possibly planned, like maybe a formation for an air show or something. Two friends are feeding their pet rabbits in the living room when they suddenly hear a mysterious noise coming from outside. Both of them are feeling pretty brave as they creep up the window and continue recording. As tough as they might be, neither of them are prepared for what they see next. There's something like, crouching down there. Yeah, could you get the light? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's something back there. Outside, some sort of orange four-legged humanoid is facing away from them. It's very low to the ground. Look directly under the clothesline if you can't see it. It's a strange glowing color that doesn't seem to belong in this world. Play the tape again in slow motion and you can clearly see the humanoid sprint away as soon as one of them knocks on the window to get its attention. It's clearly startled as it retreats over a fence with a speed too fast for its bulky body. The two of them rush out in the backyard for a fight, but they find that the creature is already gone. They check a nearby alley and quickly give up. Nobody was hurt. As for what the humanoid was doing, perhaps it smelled the scent of two rabbits and went in search of a fresh meal. A TikToker named Brandy Sawyer is exploring an abandoned house with some friends and thinks she sees a ghost before they even get inside. It's standing in the center top right window. The vague outline of a person pressed against the glass. If you don't see anything, let me circle the head. Do you see it now? What's weird is that the windows above and below are clean, and even the top part of this window is clean too, and yet this one section is hard to see through and contains a round floating object, possibly a face, that seems to follow their moves. When American Airlines Flight 280 took off from Seoul, South Korea, heading to Dallas, none of the 240 passengers aboard the flight knew they were about to take the scariest ride of their lives, but that's just what happened. The plane encountered severe turbulence, which was caught on camera by passengers. The turbulence was so severe that the flight was diverted to Tokyo. After 15 people aboard the flight were injured, five of them being hospitalized, one passenger, Mark Stanley, an attorney in Dallas, told the morning news they were diverted after 45 plus minutes of insane turbulence. The remaining passengers were put up in Tokyo for the night, but not sure if I'd have the stomach to get back on a plane the next day. A man records his pet cat studying its reflection in a mirror for the very first time. The animal is fascinated and over and over again, it tests the reflection by cautiously putting one paw in front of the other, almost as if it doesn't completely trust what it is seeing. Now satisfied that this mirror image is no threat, the cat settles down and looks behind for one moment, but as it turns out, its initial instincts were right all along. If you didn't catch it, the cat's reflection does not match the cat's own movements. So what do you think? Was this special effects or a once in a lifetime moment caught on video? I'm convinced that house is haunted, since it looks too realistic to be done by amateur video editing. A four-year-old is happily drinking his juice until for some reason the straw stops working. His protective parents get a bad feeling and curiously inspect the package to see what's wrong. And this is what it's inside. Nasty. A thick green clump of sludge clings to the bottom and blocks the straw. Slowly, they realize their child has been unknowingly sucking on what could be a giant floating piece of moldy gel. As if that wasn't bad enough, 
The father flips it over with a straw to reveal an even worse looking underside. <laughs> Ew. <gasps> oh my god. Again. Look at that. The alien-looking growth is probably loaded with bacteria and far from safe to consume. So if you've ever been enjoying a packaged drink and the straw stopped working, I guess you now know a reason why. A man at work accidentally locks himself in a large attic. He's trying to open the door when he hears a strange noise and decides to start recording. He thinks out loud that it could be a rat or a pipe as he cautiously continues to film. I'm getting kind of a spooky vibe up here. Right there. There it is again. Soon he realizes that the strange thump is coming from the very top of some steps that he has never seen before. He climbs the steps and suddenly feels like he is no longer alone. Hello? Apparently he was right. Whoa! Something clatters to the ground and sends him running down the steps. I'm not sure how he managed to get out, but when he did, I'm sure he was glad he had plenty of video evidence to back up his claims. Built in the 1800s, the historic Jefferson Hotel in Jefferson, Texas is haunted as can be. Every once in a while, it's not uncommon for a guest or two to complain about hearing voices at night or feeling a hand grazed by their cheek while dozing off. The owner of the hotel is doing some remodeling and walks past a door that suddenly opens all by itself. He says that the door was securely shut and that he actually heard it unlock before it opened. The scary CCTV video does in fact show him turning around a second before the door opens so his story indeed checks out. But that's not even the scariest moments caught on camera by him. This is way worse. Creepy video of the same hallway on a different night depicts a dark shadow passing over the green door at the far end, a room where most of the activity takes place besides this hall, and when it does so, the lamp turns off on its own. Considering a jilted bride once took her life here and the spirits of countless children are known to play tricks, this bizarre shadow person could be any of the usual suspects. I believe this ghost video is real simply based on the hotel's legendary haunted status alone. With videos this creepy, it's a wonder anyone would want to stay here for long, unless they were purposefully trying to get scared. We may have just discovered the soundtrack to your nightmares. Published to YouTube by Colome in June of 2019, this clip shows a young man in a prison cell, no context given. He speaks to the camera and, in the midst of his monologue, he gives a strange, otherworldly shriek like a velociraptor. <laughs> Why? Well, YouTubers have a wealth of hypotheses. For example, Lord Woody thinks that the man is sucking the soul out of the cameraman. I just know if I were in this situation, I'd be getting the heck out of there. <laughs> Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. No, 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 no. Nude in there, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Nude in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. 
I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true, so this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know if you agree. James Knees is a YouTuber who has been uploading for over three years now. Sometime in those three years, a 30-year-old man named Michael Lee becomes absolutely obsessed and begins soliciting him across a variety of social media platforms. The messages soon grow dark and talk about taking James from his home. He even sent messages to his mother saying, I'm going to take your son and other more creepy statements. Perhaps his most worrisome confession is when he admits that he has taken a nine-hour drive to their house more than one time. One day, James' parents see a man hanging around their house and call the police. He runs away, but the police set up a quick investigation. Investigators use James's phone to message Michael and convince him to come back to the house. When he comes back, he is taken into custody on the spot. Michael Lieb is eventually sentenced to probation with no time behind bars. Let me know if you think this is a fair and just verdict or not. Three friends know of a haunted abandoned place in Egypt that needs exploring. Little do they know how wrong their paranormal investigation will have gone by the end of that night. Fresh writing on the wall that gives them pause. It might be a warning of sorts or maybe a puzzle. They spend quite some time trying to figure it out and never manage to. What does it say? <laughs> That's when they think they hear something upstairs, something that can mimic their movements. They go upstairs to confront it and hear a noise at the bottom of the steps where they just were. As they turn around, there's a wall full of handprints marking where people were trying to get away from something. At the bottom are two floating white eyes. They are checking out more red handprints when their paranormal investigation somehow gets even creepier. A djinn's figure fills the doorway on the top floor. They run down the steps fast and seconds later, the slow-moving figure somehow passes by them again. Well, they are looking up where it was last spotted. With a flip of his scarf, the bravest of all sets forth to the exit and is almost touched. Here is a still image of the Jin's face taken at 9 minutes and 46 seconds. I think it might be a mask, but what if it's really a weird misshapen face? They say this is real. Should we believe them? These residents captured an actual witch on camera hovering right in their driveway. Shared by YouTuber Madison ENT, the footage was taken at around 3 in the morning. Watch closely above the vehicle. Baby. Baby, come on, see. Baby, baby. Babe. See. Shh, come on, see. The mysterious being drifts for a moment, and all you can see is its glowing eyes and wild hair, and then it does this. Hey. 
Whether this was a witch or not, I think it was important to run away. My advice to this YouTuber would be to put as much space between you and this thing as possible. These two scary videos were both captured in cemeteries. Published by Jesus Guaralajardo in June of 2018, a strange figure appears in the top corner of the footage early in the clip. They got Easter eggs right there. The figure seems to fly in and out of view very briefly, after which you can hear what sounds like high-pitched laughter. Where? Too creepy for me. In the second video, published by Ghost Adventures of Cornwall in May of 2021, Mark captures a bright greenish-yellow orb floating amongst the tombstones. Whoa! Thank you, spirits! Thank you! Thank you for showing yourself! Wow! That's amazing! Mark is very encouraging of the orb as it appears and then leaves for a moment, only to appear again. Wow! That's amazing, man! Look at that! He's showing himself! I feel it's a man! One viewer in the comments says the color yellow is considered positive, so perhaps this is a good spirit. Are these spirits hanging around for their own reasons, or do they reappear to provide the living evidence of the afterlife? Paranormal Explorers Moxley of Moxley's Crazy Adventures and Dan of Nighthawk Exploring team up to explore an abandoned house so haunted that only two well-versed paranormal investigators such as themselves could ever hope to stand a chance against it. Known only as the Invisible House, the haunted place in the UK is host to ghastly figures and ghostly apparitions that will make your skin crawl as they reach out and brush by. While exploring the second floor, they pass by a small statue kneeling in prayer. The way of faces into the room makes me think it was left there to protect against something inside, a paranormal presence that doesn't want them in there exploring the abandoned house at all. Somewhere nearby a door closes all by itself, and when you slow down the video at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, there is a half-concealed outline of a pale ghost face in the window. Not knowing that they've already caught a ghost sighting on tape, they break out the K2 meter to get supernatural consent for their paranormal investigation to continue. Are you okay with myself and Moxley being here? Can you take it to the yellow or orange? Would you be okay if myself and Moxley used a spirit box in here? Yeah. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A chill passes over them, and just like the legends say, the ghost hunters hear and feel a presence brush by them both. They turn around to find this heavy cabinet door, which was open when they first came in, is now closed. They open and close the cabinet to see how heavy it is, and conclude that it is too heavy to close on its own from a gentle breeze. And get this, every time they touch the cabinet door, a ghost orb angrily flies overhead. It happens three times and it's quite creepy. YouTube channel The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations asks, Would you keep going? But before you answer that, here's some context. In this short video, they were exploring Sutro Tunnel Ghost Town in Dayton, Nevada. Watch and answer for yourself. Watch the door here. Coming on. Whoa! <laughs> and this was only upon entering. If you crossed the threshold and this happened, Coming on. Whoa! <laughs> would you take a step further? Me neither. After buying a cool LED hat for his daughter, this father took a short video to capture its glow, but he also managed to capture something mysterious in the background. Shared to TikTok by TikTok Paranormal. Watch the back hall behind the baby. <laughs> A small, dark, shadowy creature makes a mad dash past the doorway. What is this thing? It doesn't look human, and yet it doesn't look animal either.
It appears to be running in a human-like way, so my best guess would be a goblin or elf of some kind. What do you think is going on here? Two friends hear something large running across the roof of their home, so one grabs a camera and bravely heads into the night. He scans the rooftop with his flashlight and the beam floats across the oversized pink head of a wild creature that has no fur. Wait a minute. Hey! He climbs onto the roof to get a better look at the creature, but when he gets up there, it's gone. Little does he know that it is stalking him from an unseen vantage point the entire time. Where did it go? The crouching humanoid looks to be half the size of a normal person. It regards him with cold, beady eyes that are low and close together like those of a wild animal. Zoom in and you'll see that this is either CGI or a real creature. The skin is way too tight to be a mask. Many say that this is the Rake, a pale, mythological creature that attacks without warning. Let me know what you think this is, and if this person was moments away from being a goner. A user named Josiah Worley has some of the best paranormal evidence on TikTok of a ghost haunting his room on the attic floor. He's recording his game table after a card leaped off the deck, and soon a cup is moving by itself. Or more accurately, a ghost is moving the cup if you ask Josiah. He handles the cup immediately after and you can see there is no string. On another night, with one hand on the camera and the other hand on the mattress, Josiah watches an object move by itself. Mom? And later it crawls across the floor. Bro. Are you good, bro? Are you good, bro? Do you see any f strings? Did you guys see it move? There are no editing cuts when he walks up to the medicine bottle. This object moved on its own. This happens night after night until finally he tries to communicate with the ghost. He makes the mistake of acting annoyed, which I think ramps things up considerably. What's good? You're kind of making noises. You're kind of being really loud. It's really irritating. Okay. In my opinion, the ghost wants nothing more than to be acknowledged, but Josiah wants nothing more than to be left alone. It's a conflict that's bound to create paranormal tension in the long run. The paranormal activity doesn't stop and so he gets in the habit of recording his room all of the time. It's almost sunrise. Almost sunrise. What was that? Where did that go? This ghost orb in particular curves around and appears in front of him when he wants to know what it is. The caption says maybe I should ignore it, but in my opinion that will only make things even more unpleasant for him in the long run. I think the ghost hates being ignored and is moving objects because it refuses to go unheard. I don't think it wants Josiah out of the apartment. When he says he's going to move out is when it becomes absolutely enraged. I'm gonna f end up leaving. If anything, it wants him to keep it company forever. Josiah decides to use a ghost hunting TikTok filter called the Reality Ripple to finally catch a ghost sighting on his phone camera. It isn't long before objects are moving on their own again, and the colors on his screen change to indicate a ghost is near. Do you guys hear that? No, 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 that, no, no, that doesn't make sense. No, stop. While looking at this still frame, gaze into the paranormal energy, you can see a yellow phantom figure reaching out. I've circled its head with long hair and pointed at its arm to help you better see it. The figure seems to be grabbing at the area where the object fell over. All of this creeps Josiah out badly enough to ask the ghost, point blank, to do something specific if he's safe. I got one question for you. Am I safe? If I am, then please knock over the cups. Oh, you, you saw that. 
A cup does not move by itself, but the ghost does push a bag off the table. This is definitely a reply, and I guess it means that he's not safe because it moves a different object than the one he asked it to. Ever since then, things have quieted down, so maybe Josiah just needed to ask for permission to live here. Or maybe this strange and cryptic poltergeist is biding its time, letting him lower his guard before moving on to the next phase of his horrible haunting. <laughs> Little male, you out here? Spectators gaze overhead at a bizarre white light piercing the sky. Adults and children alike gather in the street with their cell phones out. None of them can figure out what is going on, much less put the situation into words. The whole ordeal almost looks like a helicopter searchlight except that it makes no noise and does not move at all. A NASA experiment or even a portal to an alternate dimension are two more possibilities, however unlikely they may be. Whatever this is, it happened somewhere over California in October of 2018 and has never been properly explained. Plane is heading to Jamaica when a much smaller object zooms by at an equal rate of speed, if not faster. It's hard to tell what this fast-moving sighting could possibly be, but I doubt it's another plane off in the distance, because air control makes sure that the planes always fly far away from each other, and usually at different altitudes. Whatever this is, if it had made contact with the plane while traveling at such a high rate of speed, I'm almost positive no one would have survived. Give me your best guess as to what you think this was. I will say that I have found other similar videos taken by YouTubers flying over Jamaica, so maybe there is something strange, mysterious, and unsolved about the airspace over that region in general. No. This possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. Oh man, I'm in a two-way tunnel right now, man. If you f down now, don't do it! He's moving! He's moving! A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pile up. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down to show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. Stephanie Jenkins is filming her child at the bottom of some steps when suddenly she goes from smiling to startled. <laughs> Whoa. The child definitely looks like she saw something but she takes a few steps into the next room and then quickly forgets about it. Some people have noticed what appears to be an orb float overhead, while some people think that this is a speck of dust or something similar. Others think it could be a long-lost relative paying their respects to the next generation of kin. Ring doorbells seem to capture more than you were bargaining for. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Yakuza Disco Man. This redditor is wondering if what he's caught on his ring doorbell is paranormal. The security camera shows a wide shot of a street outside his home with several parked cars along it. Nothing unusual that is, until this ghostly figure streams past in the darkness. The semi-transparent phantom appears like he's trailing fog. Is this a spirit on a nighttime stroll? Redditor Noobvin reigns on our ghost hunting parade writing. 
This is a camera glitch due to low lighting, and the way the ring camera saves space with video and images, it's looking for pixel changes, and with low light, it is only detecting a fraction of the actual image, which makes the image appear transparent, noting that it's not really a glitch per se, but rather the design of the camera in order to reduce high bandwidth. Noobvin is pretty sure it's not a ghost. Others suggested that the Redditor reenact the event under these same conditions to see if he can replicate this. Let's hope he does. Better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, I genuinely think this footage is creepy. A YouTuber named Lord Cryptid looks up to see a gorilla-sized creature staring at him from a short distance away. The head and shoulders are clearly defined, but it's not moving at all, so Lord Cryptid decides to get a closer look. It continues to silently regard him as he closes in. Now only a thin patch of thickets and reeds separates him from the threat before him, and when he zooms in, you're not going to believe what he sees. He is only meters away and it still looks like a humanoid, not a bear. But when the camera focuses, what was originally an astoundingly scary creature is actually little more than a tree stump. I'm including this video because I feel like it could explain many of the other similar cryptid sightings in the woods. So in the future, unless the creature actually moves, it's probably just a stump. This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I can't wait. They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. Looks like she's After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. A short while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. The lights go off? <gasps> oh my god! They then enter a creepy hallway, and using a Kinect app on the phone, they see a figure standing there. Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. If you communicate with anyone, no negative entities, please. Oh my god, I just saw a man. There's a man down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. The University of Texas once lost a hundred human brains. The brains, which were acquired in the 80s for scientific research, sat in jars of formaldehyde in the basement for over 30 years. Decades later, the school decides to move them to a different part of campus, only to find most of them were missing. What's even more bizarre is that all of these brains were donated from an old Texas asylum. Among them was the brain of Charles Whitman who in 1966 ended the lives of a dozen university students. After taking aim from a tower, no one knows what happened to them for sure, but according to rumors, students were taking them every year to use as props for Halloween parties. The main point is that the minds of over a hundred inmates have gone missing, and no one knows what is currently being done with them. In this scary video, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall receives some haunting EVPs from the devil. The first EVP is cryptic. <laughs> The second set of EVPs don't sound to me quite what the team is hearing, particularly the name Mark, which is one of the crew members' names. I can distinguish found something and their aliens from the EVP, but I think they're a stretch. The last EVP, however, is chilling. What? Does say the devil will play? Do you think the devil is playing? 
I personally wouldn't run the risk of playing this game. They just regret it. These two sure do. Shared by YouTube channel Breakman, this scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community as two young guys attempt to sleep spread over top some desks in what appears to be a classroom. A shelf starts to move. This is followed by a series of creepy events, including an indistinct figure watching from the window. I'm not sure what's going on in this video, but it gives me the chills. I presume this to be a re-upload, but I was unable to track down the original source. Who are these young men? Why are they sleeping in this school? And most importantly, what is watching them? I have more questions than answers with this one, but these watching figures sure look like demons to me. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.